Welcome back, one and all, to Let's Play Final Fantasy. I'm the Arcane Rogue. Let's continue with our adventure. Last time, we found out that this was all based on some kind of weird time loop. And thinking about it, gave me a migraine for four days straight. Okay, well, I'm joking about, you know, thinking about it, but I did actually have a migraine for four days straight. It was not fun. Anyway... We're in the past, in the Temple of Fiends. Here we will fight things like worms. Oh no, worms. Um, heal helmet. Heal staff, why not? But we'll also see things like zombie dragons and other stuff. Um, the first part of the Temple of Fiends in the past is kind of one long, narrow hallway. So, let's do it. And it's just taking a series of stairs. Oh no. So here we have mages and fighters. Fighters will cast wall on themselves like you, like you uh, just saw. Mages, well, we've fought them before. They're nothing too special. Right? But they all cast instant death magic. And I don't feel like dealing with that. Good. Good. That's the protect rings coming in handy. I believe the next set of stairs is over here. Oh, memory has failed me. And here we have zombie dragons and wizard vampires. They're like vampires, only wizardy. Um. Hmm. Now go ahead and attack the wizard vampire and use the heal staff. Well, that was easier than I remember it being. Okay, let's see here. Where is the next set of stairs? Is it in the middle of the room? What do you know? Oh no, a phantom. I believe we've fought phantoms before. If we haven't, you know. Well... I should say, if we have, you can just sit through this one. Sorry, viewers, just a little audio adjustment on the fly. Really? One XP and one gold, that's it? I feel robbed. That's okay, there's a whole bunch of gold in here. And, uh... There's more gold in here. So, here's a couple of fun notes. The only way out of this place... In this party configuration, anyway... Is Much's exit spell. If Much dies... We're hosed. At the very least, try to keep one life spell on your red wizard. That way, if your white wizard dies, your red wizard can bring them back to life so that they can cast exit and we can all escape. Otherwise, you will die here. Now, we know how to deal with evil stone plates! Doo, doo, doo. Why you no work? Oh well, because... In this case... We're not supposed to use the rod, we're supposed to use the loot That we got from Princess Sarah... At the beginning of the game... That nobody told us to get. Now I think somewhere, somehow... Um... At this point, if you were to go and exit the Temple of Fiends, 
and probably someone in Lathan, I think, tells you, oh, use the loot to break the evil spell, or break the evil seal, or something like that. And that's how you would know. Okay, so... Oops, I went one step too far. Well, here's, uh, I think, a new enemy, Frost Giants. So, um, much like the Frost Wolves, they cast a lot of annoying ice magic. So, what I want to have, you know, happen here... Actually, Little John, you don't have anti-ice. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to try and do something clever, but... As usual, the enemies outsmarted me. And hopefully, Much can get his turn before any of these enemies use... Yes, good. Before any of these enemies use their annoying multi-targeting cold attacks, because if you get four or five frost wolves in a, in a thing and they all use their, their freezing attack on you, not all of your party members are going to get wailed on because they've got some elemental protection from their gear, but at least one or two of your party members will get brutalized. As you can see, we are uh, rocking it. Friar Tuck is kicking butt. So the rooms that I'm passing up, they're all empty. Just ignore them. Let's see, I think the next staircase is in the northwest corner. I don't feel like fighting a Chimera or its cousin, Jimera. Yes. I was correct. <laughs> Thank you, memory. All right. Mm, four frost dragons. Same strategy as with the frost giants and the um. Frost wolves. I want to uh, try and take them out as quickly as I can. And they don't typically cast their their multi-targeting frost spell as much for whatever reason. And there's only four of them, so I think we can handle it. Yeah, see, there's the blizzard attack. And, uh, yeah, Will's gonna take the worst, because he has the least elemental protection out of the group. Turn now. Jeez, oh man. We didn't kill them? uses of the heal equipment, though. We'll be patched back up and ready to go. This is why I love the heal equipment so much. It just... It's that little bit of healing that whenever battles are able to be, like, run out like this, you can just spam this thing and get up to a full HP without spending a single spell charge. It is just so abusive. Alright. One moment, viewers. I need to pause the recording for, for a second. Alright. I'm back. So, let's continue to the next stairs. Oh no, more sandworms. Easy enough. You know what? There is one thing I want to address real quick. Fire 
Star Talk. No, I don't want you to equip it. I want you to hand it to Much. Do I want you to hand it to Much? No, I want you to hand it to Will. And I want you to hand the defense down to Much. And the Light Axe can just go there. Sure. Actually, no. You can take the Light Axe. Alright, let's take a look at our armor setup here. Black shirt, heel helmet. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, at some point through this level, I want to find a fairly easy encounter. This one will work. Um, and I want to spam the heal items as much as I can. Now, green medusas are a little worrisome because your party members without status protection can't get turned to stone by that gaze ability, which, as you can imagine, is quite annoying. Um, however, it's not the threat that it used to be, um, because we have status protection on a fair number of our party members, and so being immune to stone doesn't really matter if only one person gets stoned. We have, sto we have soft potions, and uh, we have the soft spell for that, so, you know. Um, here, since... You have to do something. You can't defend in this game. Um, I'm gonna have Fire Tuck do something that's completely worthless just to burn his turn. Um, and I'm gonna keep an eye on my hit point totals and wait until I don't see them really going up anymore. So, um, I'm gonna do that, and once I'm all healed up, uh, I'll take care of this green Medusa, and we'll continue our journey. And there we go. So, that took all of five minutes. Um, I wanted to spare you all the boredom. But it's a, you know, a strategy to use to, to heal back up, um, while maintaining your spell charges, because this is a long dungeon. I don't feel like fighting rock golems. They're like mud golems except stronger. And they cast slow. Which doesn't sl slow down your speed. You can see what it did. I will make no comment. It was the 80s. that episode of The Simpsons where Bart gets a tattoo removed, and Lisa's just sitting there poking him? Like, ow, quit it. Ow, quit it. Ow, quit it. So if I take one step forward, we'll see an old friend. And I don't mean an actual old friend. I mean somebody we don't like. As if you didn't put that one together. Here you go, little John. Let's use up these uh, spell charges, shall we? <laughs> I mean, why not? He's got nothing better to do with them. Okay. So. Right ahead of us, we'll have to fight Lich again. Lich is not a pushover like he was the first time around. Um, he's abandoned all his level 2 elemental magic, and instead we will just go straight to level 8 black magic, including rub, uh, zap, xxxx, and the worst of them, which he usually casts in the first round because he hates everybody, nuke. Your job is to hope and pray that your characters don't die from that first nuke spell. 
and then kill him as quickly as possible. So, give me a moment. I need to prepare myself, um, because the last time I got here, Lich wiped the floor with me and it, it made me go have to cry in a corner for about 10 minutes. Alright. Let's do this! Okay, let's see here. Um, you fight. You use the light axe. You... What can I do that's helpful here? Um... Cast fast on little John. You... Let's preemptively cast heal three. No! <laughs> Darn it! Dang it much! You were supposed to go after Lich duped us! Ow! Please don't kill much. Shoot! Okay. We can do this. This is a salvageable situation. Okay. Will their little John do something useful? <laughs> Let's see here. Item. The only thing you could do that's useful for our talk is that. Okay, um. Revive much. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh. You know, a younger rogue would be very mad about this, but because now my light warriors don't have even HP or even experience. But I think we were already in that situation. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Who cares? Anyway. Let's, uh, heal up, shall we? Actually, I'm gonna do this off-screen. Close enough. Friar Tuck's the only one who's not at max, and... I can't be bothered to care right now. Okay. So. On this floor, we're going to start seeing enemies from the fire. Or from the Gurgu Volcano. I wonder who will fight on this floor. I'll give you two guesses. Did you guess? Did you? If you said Carrie, you're wrong. Her name is Marilith. <laughs> I'm such a troll. <laughs> Ow. Quit picking on my master. It's not fair that Doctor's not here. I think I made that joke before. Kill the giants. I feel like that's part of a fairy tale somewhere. Yeah, sure, cast ice. It's not like we have anything better to do with that spell level. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> now that I've been thoroughly owned and reminded of my place as a mere mortal, it's time for us to continue through this level. Now, we could bypass all the treasure on this floor and go straight to the boss and continue onward. And I'm gonna tell you right now that's a huge mistake. Uh, especially if you have a ninja in your party. Major, major mistake.
because we will get the... I would say ultimate weapon for a ninja on this floor. I really do not want to fight all these monsters. Fire Tuck's looking pretty bad, though. I need to pick a battle and spam my heal equipment. Oh, not Grey Worms, though. They hit too hard. I want to pick something weaker. So, in here, we get a Protect Ring. It's not what I thought it would be. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. We don't need that Protect Ring. It can go to heaven. That would have been an ideal encounter to spam my heal equipment. Anyway. Coming down here, we... Well, we'll do it this one. I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Alright. As you can see, we're back up to full strength. Oof. Now, I know that some of you might be wondering... First, Rogue, what's this katana good for? Well, it's good for a ninja that we don't have. So for us, it's good for the ground. Uh, but otherwise, it is the almost ultimate weapon for a ninja. Um, there's only one sword that is better for a ninja than that one. So there's two more treasures on this floor. Yeah, we're not gonna fight these guys. We're close enough to full HP right now. I don't care enough. equips it. Well, there we go. Now Much has a Protect Cape. That should help his survivability. <laughs> Poor Much, he's just getting eviscerated. Um, you know what? I'm gonna abuse my heal equipment and I'll be right back. Alright. A few minutes later and we're all good. got confused there. I nearly walked back that long narrow hallway. Though granted, I don't think I would have cared about missing out on the 26,000 gold. becomes a theme very quickly in these battles. Ow! That was not nice! Huh. Well. Let's go take on Mary. Carrie. Marilith. <clears throat> Marilith, like Lich, uh, is far from a slouch at this point. Um, 
you have to remember, we're, we're tra we've traveled back to when, you know, these, uh, these fiends were the strongest. Um, really, the only thing we can do here is try to beat the tar out of her as quickly as possible. Basically the goal of these fiend battles at this point is just to keep your party's HP up and keep them alive. But that's all we have time for in this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Join me next time as we continue back to the past. See if we can get to the bottom of all this. I've been the Arcane Rogue, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.